So good afternoon. Uh, we have today with us uh, Heidi Harden. Is that how you pronounce it? Yes, it's Heidi Harden. Heidi Harden. And I met her, I guess, uh, two weeks ago on the 9th of uh, November during Open Studio, last weekend of Open Studio, correct? Sunday the 9th? Yes, in my yeah. studio. Yeah. H how did the Open Studio go this year? It was a lot of fun. We always uh, enjoy welcoming new people. Yeah. My studio is also a gallery, so we have different exhibitions there every month for artists. So you open year long? All year long, we have exhibitions every month. Oh, and okay. So, so it was not just one weekend? No. And okay. my show that was for Open Studio is up and will be up, and we're open Saturdays and Sundays through the end of the year from noon to 6. Noon to 6? From on Sundays? Saturdays and Sundays. Oh, so you'll have Open Studio 52 weeks a year? <laughs> <laughs> well, for my studio, uh, for my work, my paintings, yeah, they'll be up through the end of the year, Saturday Except and Sunday. Except for Christmas and Thanksgiving? Yeah. Mm. Or S every Saturday and Sunday. I haven't looked to see when Christmas and, and Thanksgiving are, but... Uh, Next week is Thanksgiving. Yeah. So you'll be open Saturday and Sunday? Sun Saturday and Sunday. Oh, so and no ex holidays exclusion. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and and then in January we are, will be closing the gallery for renovations, okay. and then we'll reopen in May with Colette Crutcher, oh. and every month after that we'll show a different artist until open studios again when I get to show my work, my new oh. work. Okay. So that's oh, how. Oh, so you're gonna be a uh, studio featuring not just you but other artists. Other artists, and most of them are from Hunters Point Shipyard, and they've been involved in my children's mural program as teaching instructors for um, our um, children in Southeast San Francisco, the Bayview Hunters Point schools. Okay, okay, so you're an art teacher, right? I was for 20 years, 20 pl 25 years. You teach painting? Painting, we, taught, we, t we did teach an environmental science curriculum using art as the teaching modality. Oh. And if you go to our website, you'll see their last, the children's last public artwork that will be installed soon at Hunters Point Shipyard as one of the first public art commissions for that new development there. Oh, nice. Yeah, so hopefully in the spring that will happen. And um, in the meantime, people can hear about what they did. They created a, a mural f for the back of two very large benches wow. made out of uh, clay, handmade clay tiles, yeah. and mosaic that tell the story of water in 24 chapters. Wow. It's a beautiful thing, and it's um, one foot high, and it runs 120 feet long. So it's a monumental work by it's children. Oh, my goodness. So how old are they? We worked with kids uh, in 60 children in middle uh, middle. Middle elementary, school? middle, and high school. Okay. Yeah, so it's, it was a team effort to do that wall? That's right. And Colette Crutcher, who has the, the s experience with ceramics and mosaic tiles, yeah. um, led the tile construction and fabrication, and we led the content and the, and the science part of it. Hmm. So the kids learned a lot about water. <laughs> Wow. From the molecular level to the deep oceans and to the heavens, actually. Wow. Cause the she took over your job? No, she just showed uh, all the artists who've been working with me for many years. We've usually used paint. Mm -hmm. and She's an art teacher? No, she's an, uh, mainly a public artist. Okay, so and she's so like she a curator. Uh. No, she's an artist who fabricates mostly ceramic tile artworks oh, for okay, the okay. community and get, okay. and get like the tile steps at 16th and Moraga. Ah. I don't know if you've been there and you've seen the... Mm, I don't go to that area. It's like in the sunset? Yes, in the sunset. She, it's quite famous. The, I think if you you Google her, the tile steps in San Francisco, you can't miss it. What's so her name again? Colette Crutcher. Okay. And then her husband... Colette is a French name, I think. Yes, very okay. French. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> So and Heidi, you are American. Okay. Yes. I'm so, very. So collect Crutcher on the internet is uh, something we can find? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And she's she led the ceramic tile portion of that oh, okay. project. And we 
directed the science curriculum that, that was the foundation for it. Wow, so it's very good. So tell us a little bit about, uh, I mean, I know we have only a few, half an hour, but tell us a bit what you have accomplished uh, as a teacher for how many years? We've been teaching environmental science curriculum in Bayview for over 20 years. See, si, so for 20 years you have done a lot of things, right? Right, <laughs> with the kids. And now um, we've just turned, changed the direction of our nonprofit to focus on the Human Family Tree Project, which you and I spoke at length about. Oh, yeah. The families from around the world who are practicing the seven major world religions and m the, the many over 500 portraits that I am Yeah, making. I saw that, yeah. So, so this is a project that has not been done by the school. No, that my the project in my studio, which we have, will yeah. are now turning it's our focus you? on, is just me and the artists that support me oh. and that work with our organization to develop this pro this broad project. Okay, so behind each of these paintings that we you showed me, there is like a circle or something. Well, the circles you saw are, were behind the families who are practicing Christian families. Okay. They're, they're, they're four uh, families of different ethnicities who are practicing the seven major world religions. So I've completed the four Christian families. Oh, okay. And so the iconography that you saw in the paintings about them yeah. are, have the halo. The halo, uh, okay. The halo around So you're going to do a different halo for a different religion? Well, um, the iconography for various religions is very different, and that very much informs what the backgrounds, because the paintings are made separate, the portraits are made separately, and then they're mounted onto backgrounds that are two feet by four feet. Oh, actually, they're four feet high and two feet wide. Okay. And um, so depending on the religion, uh, the backgrounds change dramatically. And so, so in the most recent two fam family or religious groups, the Jews and the Muslims that we've been paint I've been painting. What I, color? I enlarged the portraits and just used solid fields of color. Okay, but it's not specific color. Well, each um, in the each installation, seven in all, yeah. will be. Um, a templated, separa a separate color? Templated on the Tree of Life. Yeah. The Tree of Life has ten sephras or stations okay. that, that in my version of the world has ten developmental stages of life. Okay. Like infancy, adolescence, boys, girls, boy groups, girl groups, moms, dads, girls as princesses, boys as princes. Oh and so on okay and then there's also a station for the front yard and the backyard so you see the setting where these families are uh, grew up and oh, i saw that yeah yeah so the um the each of those stations are color coded and so the for example the four boys of different ethnicities you walk around that station it's green and You'll see an African boy, an Asian boy, a Latin boy, and a European boy, but they're all doing what boys do, mm -hmm. and it, they're all drawn from family photo albums of these different families who are practicing Christians or Muslims or Jews. So it won't be based, uh, you by looking at a painting, you won't be able to tell which religion you are representing. Unless you see it in the, f the clothing or the, the something. something in the family um, uh, setting okay. that might indicate. A reveal. Yeah, like one portrait of an adolescent Muslim girl. She's in a. Um, oh, the, with the veil. Yeah. Veil, and um, she's standing in front of a tapestry of Mecca. Okay. So it's so pretty you, hard to uh, miss. Pretty, okay, pretty obvious. And, and it's in their living room. So she lives with this. This is um, part of her, not only her religion, but it's her home life. It's, it's a central to her. To be around that environment. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then Christian maybe might, might have a cross on the wall. <laughs> exactly. Okay. okay. Yeah, or a, a picture of Jesus praying. Something <laughs> like that. Okay. Yeah. So it's, it won't, uh, the, 
uh, it will be revealed through something that's obvious. Right, the iconography of the home. Mm. Yeah. Okay, yeah. sounds good, yeah. Yeah, I, I guess that uh, one family was Jewish, right? Do you remember? Mm -hmm. So maybe yes. there was something that told me it was? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so basically um, now you are finished with two or three and you have uh, four more to go? Right, I'm completing um, two more Jewish and two more Muslim families. So all four families who are Christians, Jews, and Muslims will be finished by t the middle of 2016, or the beginning of 2016, and I will be exhibiting those, those in people. the, yes. And there will be a panel discussion and um, family art making and all kinds of stuff. All that kinds they do of things around the, the family of Abraham. Because oh, okay. that's all one big, big family. Big family tree. <laughs> and yeah. the hope is, is that um, when this family can um, learn to celebrate each other's um, differences and uh, similarities, then we can temper and redirect some of the hard feelings that have long held them apart. Oh. There will be a big discussion on that one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they are still apart. They're yes. still throwing bombs at each other. <laughs> they, I always tell them, instead of giving them bombs, give them more pistols if they love to shoot at each other. And I say give them a paintbrush and let them paint their sorrow so that they can create something from instead it, not destroying, destroy. Instead of yes. Uh, yeah, if we sold water gun, life will be much easier for everybody. <laughs> so, <laughs> so because when I was young, I always played with water guns, and I say, why do they have to put bombs, in, I mean, bullets in there? <laughs> Anyways, so... Yeah, that, that will be maybe one topic of, uh, I mean, it, it, it sounds like it's funny, but that's what kids do. They shoot with water. Right. Um, anyway, so um, they have uh, upgraded themselves with bullets. So anyway, uh, so now um, I see that you have more paintings than any other artist I've visited that day. <laughs> I mean, you had hundreds. How did you do so many? I don't understand. How, you spend maybe four days, five days? No, I don't know. No, yes, a not lot. At all. There's not a at lot. lot. It takes. I've been working on this project for over ten years, so that's oh, why. Oh, there's and, so many. And each installate, each of the seven installations, when they're complete, they have seventy-eight paintings each. Oh and my have, goodness, it's gonna be huge. Yeah. They Are have, you gonna have space for that? I have space for one, oh. and so the each installation will have to be at a different venue, and then the, we'll come together in a larger venue where the panel discussions and the charrettes oh. and uh, in the end, family art making can happen. You put all three together, seventy-eight right. times three. That's almost like almost two hundred paintings, <laughs> more than two hundred. Yes, it's 210 yes, or yes. something like that. But in any case, that's why there's so many. And, the, and each installation also has 36 original music works oh. created by Jonathan Sachs. He's a composer that I've collaborated with. You mean the music background will, will be by these composers? This composer, this one composer. And he um, and I have been working on this, as I said, for 10 years or more. And... The soundscape uh, is different for each one. Yeah. The, the next one that we're working on, the, it will be a, a soundscape. In the past, that we didn't have the technology to have the sound oh, at the each background. station yeah. without having a, head, a, a cassette player and a headset where you start the push the button You'll and the display. You'll have to have like, um, <laughs> uh, microphones in yes. all four parts of your room. And now the technology is such that we can afford to have a, an elaborate soundscape that's uniform throughout and the when room. you step into the to the Front environment of, of each middle, station you yeah it. you can hear what's supposed to be with the with the boys for example oh. and wow. then when you move to the girls the station where the girls are then you can hear the music for the girls so and it's going to be very original music uh, it's right. original music and we use um, found text from different sources okay science literature a religious text. Um, what does he play? Classical guitar or something else? 
He he's a composer, so he he orchestrates, you know, from from a whole or it's like orchestral. Oh, he can find other musicians. I see. Yes, okay. and syn he uses synth synthesizers, so he can synthesize any a uh, full orchestra for whatever the. Oh, he'll have to hire them temporarily or something. Yeah. Well, the machine will do it. You mm. don't now. Composers can do a whole. Uh, oh, they put all this together, uh, yeah. yes, yes. And, and do the mixing on the computer? Yes, on the computer. I see, I see. So, uh, did you like the music I picked for yours? I did. Oh, you did, okay. Yeah, <laughs> no. it was nice. I say, oh my God, what if she doesn't like it? Okay, no, I so, like it. Because I can change it if you prefer something else. Well, and we can provide you with what Jonathan has done he for started. this project, oh. if you want. But no, I mean, if you want something no. more of your taste. Uh, <laughs> because sometimes I just pick something, see if it's appropriate. <laughs> yeah, I, th I thought it went well. It went well. Okay, yeah. great. Thank you. So, um, so, y so l let's uh, go back to you, <laughs> because we went in different directions here about talking about the other. And so you started your life as an artist or as a teacher? I started my life as an artist, I guess. I became awe-inspired by um, finger painting in, the f in kindergarten. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's how it started. So, all. Yeah, that started it. I just I could not believe that I could do that with my hands. And now you use hands. a paintbrush. And th and then I used a paintbrush, and uh, now I use all kinds of different mediums. But that. Um, and your profession was in it, so you couldn't escape from doing it. Well, my my um, just my senses re responded positively to it, and I couldn't I couldn't withdraw from it. It was just so powerful and overwhelming. I just pursued it, but because I was raised in a family where you're supposed to use your education for a career, of course, my dad and to make money too. Yes, yes, exactly. So my dad sort of said, you know, why don't you get that degree in Done. science so you can become a doctor or so I have a degree in biology. That's where I, I went to UC San Diego and, and completed my, my um, almost a, a full degree in biology. Bi and that would have given you the right to be who or what? A biologist? A biologist, a scientist. I could have applied for medical school. Really? Yeah. I could have gone, gotten, uh, graduated and become, you know, a, a doctor. Doctor. Hmm. But you a decided PhD to or an MD. You decided to go into teaching. Well, fortunately, when I was graduating, I had a painting teacher. I took painting as a minor, art as a minor, and okay. my painting teacher said I was a virtuoso painter and <laughs> suggested said that I was a, appeared to be a bit miserable <laughs> with the idea of going into science, and that if I wanted to go to graduate school, he'd make sure I got in. So oh. I. Um, petitioned the school and I stayed and finished my degree in biology so I have a double major art and biology so and then good. went to graduate school and got an MFA at UC San Diego oh okay so that's and your that's why I'm teaching environmental science because you because matched them together I, so I I blended them and made a career for myself here. and y when you teach that topic you t your students also use a little bit of art they they use painting as their their te that's how they learn. Oh, we that's teach how they a, learn. We teach a little science lesson about yeah. the air, water, soil, the yeah. plants, animals, and people. Uh huh. And each lesson they make paintings about that. And the final lessons are about the air, water, soil, plants, animals, and people at Hunters Point Shipyard and how all of that's being. Uh, cleaned up and re reused so that they can have homes, businesses, uh, educational opportunities, all oh. kinds of entertainment and recreation there. Oh, yeah, it's good you blend science with art. Okay. Right, and bring that to the kids in the community so that they know that they, they can stay and become productive members of the, the southeast sector of San Francisco or the whole of San Francisco, the whole of the Bay Area and the world. Yeah, a lot of kids are more environmentally conscious nowadays. I mean, more than us. Mm -hmm. I mean, I didn't study environment when I was young. But more and more kids are much more attuned to what's good for the environment than I was. Well, we think we like to think we've we've tapped in early to that yeah. uh, education and yeah. um, that this final uh, public artwork that will go out to the shipyard is sort of a, the crown on our um, 
of your efforts, efforts uh, in that there. Yeah. So, so basically, uh, I, I can go any weekend and until you start your renovation and see what I saw two weeks ago? Mm -hmm. Yep, uh, until the end of the year. Until the end of the year, okay. So, uh, I forgot what street you're on. We're on Bush between Fillmore and Webster. On and Bush, if you okay. okay. And if you can't make it on the weekend, you can call for an appointment. It's on the website. Okay, perfect. It's HeidiHardin.com? Uh, no, Think Round is the nonprofit that services all, m all my projects now. I started a nonprofit. It's called what? Think Round. T H I N K R O U N D. Yeah. That's the name of your website? Uh huh. Thinkround.org. Oh, okay, interesting. I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm learning something today. All right, so this is uh, is there anything you want to add? Are, is uh, artists, then, because you say you're recruiting artists, so are artists the welcome to join your project, or you are uh, painting yourself these three? Uh, well, the choose. artists work um, to, uh, my, all of my paintings are freestanding. They, they don't hang on the walls. So the artists who work with me create the environments around oh. the walls okay. of my installations. And they work to um, help run the family art making projects and develop the curriculum and so forth. So that But we everything I taped was by you? Yes. Okay. Absolutely, yeah. And... Um, we what they're gonna, what they gonna do is decorate around your painting. So what are they gonna do exactly? The well, they make paintings about the environment, the precious nature of air, water, soil. Okay, so that will be next people. to yours or something like they that. They will be on the walls. On the walls, okay. And and hopefully the the, the when we get our family art making classes done, the families yeah. will be making art about their religions, about their families, about their experience. Um, in their religion, in their religion and their f their beliefs and their um, their longings, yes, that will be a part of the each installation on the walls. Because as I said, my my work is freestanding; is is intended not to be taking up wall space. Oh, okay, okay. So, y who's doing the seventy eight per religion? You, me, okay, yeah. Plus, what the others are gonna do. No, the others, I will help them decide, but they, you know, th th that's what my, the artists who are involved in my project will yeah. be guiding what the content of the room, each house for each religion will look like. Oh, okay, okay. So they're going to work around it. Yes. Okay, got it. And so the last thing I want to say is we're also recruiting not just artists, but we're also recruiting families because I've... Uh, finish all the Jews, Christians, and Muslims, but now we're seeking Hindus, Buddhists, uh, Taoist Confucianists, and primal native families of different ethnicities who would like to participate. And the You're not going to find them in Lower Pacific Heights, but you'll <laughs> find them You'll find them probably in other areas of the city. Right, absolutely, and that's why this is such a, a, an opportunity for me to reach a broader audience. Because you have to travel a little bit. <laughs> yeah, and okay. And we hope that uh, you might have go to on travel to San Jose, where you will find a lot of people of these denominations. I don't know. Well, I think that there are there are plenty of each of those in San Francisco, in San Francisco and the Bay Area. But um, wherever they come from, you have to go to them. Yeah, and I've I've traveled to meet families and interview them. But they have to have a family photo album, a family mm -hmm. photo albums that tell their story. Okay. And they have to be willing to sign release forms that I can paint their image and use their photos. Okay, so you have to videotape their surroundings, their settings, everything about their private life, basically. Well, I actually rely on the family photo albums for their setting. If they want to participate in a in an oral history uh, video, oh, you're not going to go history, to their home. I will go to their home, but to look at their family photos that they've already taken. Okay. okay. So I'm 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 documenting their their his their family history that's already recorded in their their f family photos. Okay. And if they want to have a videotaped oral history with me, mm -hmm. then. We, I've done that as well, oh, and okay. it's part of what. We, and all of those um, things that that we offer like that are on the website. 
okay. people. But the, the one that you did, the French one from Senegal, right? it was like outside in the yard or uh, I didn't, it was there also in interior settings? There are interior settings. In fact, one of the portraits there in the studio right now with mm -hmm. the front yard and the backyard yeah. is the inside the house on their uh, Halloween in their Night. Halloween costume oh. in the evening. Okay. In you know with the sofa and the kids are all there in their costumes and the mom's there. Okay, so it was costume. It was not an everyday thing. No, it was a Halloween. They it were. was a Halloween. Yeah. Okay. So. So did you title it Halloween so people don't think they dress like that every day? Absolutely. <laughs> the okay. titles are all there, and they are very descriptive of what the, what the it image means. is. Oh. Yeah. And, okay. where, and we like to document where the, the photo was taken and when, what year it was taken so that you get a sense of the history and the longevity. Of did you have a problem communicating with uh, language, uh, a different language speaking uh, family? Well, I haven't run into uh, people who ha are non-English. Who don't know English. Oh, yeah, yeah non-English speakers. But Mr. B.I., the, the portraits who are up now, his yeah. family, the reason that we met mm -hmm. er, and that I'm here is mm -hmm. they, they're French speakers, hit yeah. the mother and father, yeah. who, because they come from Dakar, Senegal. Okay. They moved to San Francisco uh, and moved to Bush Street. Really? Yes. And so they, they are your neighbors? They were my neighbors before I even moved to Bush Street myself. Oh. And um, they had five children there. And then he was appointed to be an associate director of the Peace Corps and returned to Ghana oh, to uh, hold that position for several years. So the, many of the portraits you see in the studio right now, the ten that are there, mm -hmm. the kids are uh, in Ghana with their f mom and dad. They sent you the picture. No, they've returned, and the way the reason I know Mr. B.I. Yeah. Um, is because he and I ran a, a curriculum together, um, devised a curriculum together. He was teaching French at the Alliance Francaise, okay. and my children were learning about air, water, soil through the children's yeah. mural program, and we decided to take 10 of those children and their families to... Uh, Africa yeah. and to Paris nice. and the kids had exhibitions of their paintings in both places nice. and so he was our guide for the front the Paris thing uh, well and for for Dakar we took we took them to his home oh okay Senegal. Dakar in yeah. Senegal okay and so that's how he and I become became friendly and have uh, a I collaboration uh, yes and I adopted him as one of my family members and his whole, all of his family. Oh. And they will be at my studio and hosting, we'll be hosting a family talk and, and an introduction. Oh, you're going to invite them? They'll yeah. all be there in the studio December 21st. Nice. Yes, and, and so you can ask them all the questions you like about <laughs> the paintings and about the 10 more paintings of them that I will so be doing. So they're back in the United States. That yes, they've returned, um, I'm not sure when, but they live in Emeryville now, and he mm. teaches French down in uh, San Jose, and his wife works at the airport, and his children all have professional careers now. They're all adults, and oh, what a beautiful, story. beautiful children. This is like a biography we did today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of things happening. So if, if you interview someone, a Hindu family, they might not all speak, they might speak Hindu maybe, I don't know. Well, if they're living in the United States now, it's it's because that's basically we're telling an immigration story through this project that how families immigrate to the United States, assim become assimilated through um, public education, yeah. the f the brownie camera. Everybody's documenting the same oh, that's photos true. That's true. and um, advertising. Yeah. So most. Of I don't think there'll be anybody who's not an English speaker that I end up painting, but I, who knows? Yeah. Except my mother-in-law. My mother, my husband is an Asian uh, Christian family in I my see. project, and, he and his mother-in-law didn't speak English. any English. Okay. It's usually the the parents. Right. Okay. Because yeah. uh, with the new immigration law now, they gave uh, uh, amnesty to five million more people, mm -hmm. so all these students are going to be able to stay. <laughs> yeah. That's why there's a lot of protests about it now. But, but you know, it's a country of immigrants. What can you do? Right. And we like to celebrate that. 
and say diversity is grand. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> it is. So that's why we're here today. We are from different cultures. Yes. So this was Heidi um, Hardin, mm -hmm. right? And uh, she is here in San Francisco. We like you to have her as an artist here. And she has extensive work. I mean, what are you, what do you have now? About 200 or more? At least more than that. More than that. She has tons of paintings, and she is on Bush and uh, Bush and Naguna. Bush between Fillmore and Webster. Oh, between Fillmore and Webster. So, is so y there's always a sign outside. Right, twenty one forty Bush. Okay, so that's perfect. number one. Number one. <laughs> so thank you so much for taking the time to come visit us today. Thank you so much for asking me. All right. So this uh, again was Heidi Harden. Thank you. Thank you.